Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are set to go. We have done our pre-trip this morning. Yeah. And here we go. We're putting her in gear. Let's get out of here. It's very nice lighting here at this truck stop. So I appreciate that very much. Looks like the truck stop got pretty full yet overnight. Looks like there uh, ain't too many spots open anymore. Last night when we went to bed, there was a lot of spots open, right? So, uh, well, this morning we're pretty much full. Although there is a bunch of spots open here yet where you can pay to park. And I guess nobody wants to pay to park tonight. I guess if you don't have to, why would you, right? I wouldn't want to pay for it either. That's where they got a nice big shop. Like quite a few bays in there. You need a little bit of something repaired on your truck. I mean, that's not really for anything. Major repairs, you know, if you want to do some major repairs, you could uh, probably want to go to, uh, to a dealer or somewhere else, right? But, uh, yeah, Jukebox was still sleeping there when uh, when I left, so, and he told me he would. He would probably only get out of there by 8 o'clock in the morning or something like that, maybe. But, uh, we gotta go, well, we don't really have to, but I wanted to get out of here early in the morning, so that way, uh, because it's Eastern time up there in uh, Pennsylvania, gonna be an hour later right so I mean I'm leaving here at 5 30 over there at 6 30 already right so and I have 588 miles to go well it has begun with the sunlight yeah it's no longer dark is what I'm trying to say we are just giving it today we've been on the road now for two and a quarter hours Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen let's take a look we have finally managed to get a truck wash done look at these rims look now whoa that looks super nice that truck is nice and clean now now i just went across the street here and uh we're gonna go grab us a bite to eat but uh i figured i would inspect everything a little bit and see what it looks like whoa that looks a lot better i don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video yesterday in the evening when i was meeting up with jukebox there that truck was super dirty but anyways we're gonna go inside and grab us a bite to eat here we go we have gotten our bite to eat <clears throat> now i'm not hungry anymore we finally managed to get our truck wash like i said and uh that makes me happy <clears throat> my truck is finally decent looking again that was that was a big difference from before to after I mean I didn't really show you guys before and after but uh, I knew what it looked like there for a good while already and it did not look good at all so now we finally God, it's a good truck wash. Continue on this road for 79 miles. Good bite to eat. We got dry roads. So we don't really have anything to worry about right now. Even if it wasn't 100% dry roads, I wanted to get that salt and all that mud and dirt off of my truck for a change you know that was very important to me I don't like to have it on there for so long than what I already did so man it is overcast I don't think uh, I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to rain up here or not but it is warm enough to where it wouldn't be snowing so we're good in that department let's get on down the road and let's see what happens today we have just gotten past Cleveland Ohio 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 that's right and this is a very beautiful scene from my opinion anyways we're going down into a valley and uh, when we get to the bottom up there I think there's a fairly big bridge up there fairly high one anyways uh, I think anyways I think it's this part here if it is then you'll be able to see way down there below it goes down quite a bit yeah I think that's what it looks like so here in a minute or two we'll uh, we'll be crossing that bridge you should be able to see it I hope yeah it goes down good uh, quite a bit here so uh, yeah, I'm actually going a little faster than my cruise I do have my engine brake on yep yep we are just about to come up to that bridge here right about now yeah it's kind of dry up here but oh well it was winter right here we go now we're on the bridge there's actually another highway up there I'm not sure what kind of highway that is but I'm sure that's not the toll highway that must be some other uh, well maybe not maybe it is some kind of uh, toll highway that comes up here to the I-80 but anyways that's it we are across that bridge now I don't think this is the big one that I've seen here before somewhere, but that's not bad, you know, but you figure out, oh, well, I'll show it to you anyways. Gotta record something for the show today, so now, that was not bad. I guess we'll continue on. And we'll see you down the road. Well, guys and gals, that's how I look at this big overpass that goes way up here in the mountains. We're still climbing out of this uh, valley that we were just in that I just showed you on my uh, previous clip and we are just about to tip over onto the top of this valley I guess or out of the valley 
and uh, yeah, I've always found that quite interesting. That uh, little bridge that they got far across in the big highway there. Not sure what kind of highway it is, but I'm sure somebody from around this area might know. But uh, yeah, I thought I had to show you that little piece there. Ready, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the heart of Pennsylvania. That is right. And you will be able to see some hills up here just like you saw last week up there in North Carolina South Carolina and all that so uh, Tennessee there a little bit that's what you see a little bit up here see a little bit of hills a little bit of scenery up here that's right now, I know you guys like to see some scenery so who better to show it to you than me, right? Oh, well, I keep saying, keep dreaming, right? Oh, well. That's okay. But I have decided I am going to go, I think, up to that flying jet tonight. Because I do kind of need to fuel a little bit. I am starting to run low on fuel. So I uh, have decided since I am aware of that uh, truck stop there, that truck stop has generally got quite a bit of parking up there. I think I'm just going to go up there and fuel up a little bit. And then uh, we'll have a parking spot there, no problem, I think. I know it's six miles past the exit that I need to go to, but uh, six miles is not bad. You know, sometimes you got to go 30 miles before you get to a truck stop, but uh, instead of you know parking there at the rest area and all that and I bet you that will be full because I just went by a rest area up here not long ago and that rest area was completely packed I mean trucks were already parking on the uh, on the off ramp and uh, I don't know for sure that this next rest area is going to be uh, that full as well but uh, I do know this truck stop. I stopped in there a few times and it's never really that full and I'll be getting there around 6 o'clock anyways. So, uh, I mean, I got an hour to go and it's 5 minutes to 4. It'll be 5 minutes to 5 or so. By the time I roll in there, or pretty much exactly 6 o'clock. And, uh, well, 5 o'clock my time, but 6 o'clock Eastern time. So that should still be early enough for uh, for me to go in there, fuel up, and then uh, I'll go grab me a shower in there. I was going to take me a shower already there today in Ohio, but didn't get around to doing that. So, because I was kind of in a hurry a little bit because I want to get down here so I can get me parking, you know. And so I was just looking at it, and uh, I do remember that truck stop. So I'm very happy about that because then I know for sure I can get parking there. And it doesn't matter, I gotta come back in six miles and then go down that road. I know I gotta go down there quite a bit. Probably gotta go down about 20 miles on that road. But that's okay too, we can do that tomorrow morning. So we'll uh, we'll get up uh, early tomorrow morning. Well, not super, super early, but uh, we'll get up at decent time and we'll make our way down there and go do our delivery. I'm not sure that I'll be in a rush to go down there though because uh, I still don't have a reload and uh, I can deliver there anytime between 7 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon so what I might do is I might just go down there for 9 o'clock which is 8 o'clock Manitoba time and that way uh, I'm not there super early and that gives me time to sleep in a little bit and, and then uh, because our dispatcher won't be until 8 o'clock anyways so it doesn't do me any good really to uh, to go there earlier because I won't know what I'm supposed to do from there then if I go there and get unloaded before 8 o'clock you know but then dispatch is not in there so they ain't gonna tell me nothing where to go so then uh, I think I'm just gonna go in a little bit later unless I get a load offer here by the end of the day yet yeah, then we might decide to go in anyways but uh, early but uh, if that's not going to be the case, I mean, it's already three minutes to four o'clock and usually by this time we would have a reload offer. And uh, I mean, last week Sunday I got one there after five, but 
That usually doesn't happen like that, but we'll see what happens today, I guess. But other than that, uh, that's the plan for right now. I uh, didn't edit my video yesterday or the day before, so and obviously today's video can't be edited yet either yet because I'm still driving. So uh, I got be pretty much three days worth of video that I can uh, render, so that gives me something to do and. Uh, Take me a shower and all that good stuff. And then we'll be in business again. Look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I think it is. So let's get down over there to the truck stop and then uh, we'll see what happens from here to there, I suppose. All right, we are done for today. Actually, we've been done for a good while already. I've been in the back there editing my videos and I went inside first, had me a shower and then I grabbed, and grabbed me a bite to eat, got me something good to eat and we're all done with that, now it's time to go to bed. So all that's left to do is say goodbye to you guys. I don't know if you guys want to make it short or quick, whichever one. <laughs> well, I guess I'm in control of that, right? But, uh, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's actually quite a few spots open over here yet. Yeah, especially over there, there's a few spots open right here beside me. There's a spot open, so we have lots of parking up here, so that's kind of what I figured. At this truck stop, I knew that uh, I've been here before, and there used to be always parking here, so that is still the case so that is fantastic news to me I love it and we are only 18 miles away according to uh, RJ from our delivery here so uh, yeah about half an hour drive probably with all them traffic lights and all that usual stuff so uh, but anyways that's about all we got for today so we are gonna go to bed here I'm tired now so we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a good one. I will catch you on the next one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.